Hi guys, so happy new year. Um, it's officially 2013, which means it's a brand new start for everyone and just put the past behind you and just turn over a new leaf um, and I'm just so excited it's the new year. I don't know what this year's going to bring me. I don't really um, tell the future, but I am excited for what it's going to bring in terms of um, just work and beauty, fashion stuff. Just it's going to be an exciting year. I already know it. So, um, but anyways, I just had to get off of my chest because it's officially the second day of the new year. So, but this is going to be the last segment. Um, it was supposed to be the last segment of Happy Holidays 2012, but since it's a new year, I'll just like stuff it in there. It's okay. But um, this is just going to share and tell my makeup that I got for Christmas, so it's just going to be a makeup haul, and I'm really excited because some of this stuff I've never had before, and I didn't really expect to get it, and I'm just so excited because it's Inglot and um, just some other brands that I've, I've been really wanting to try, so I got it for gifts. Um, the first thing that I got, I'll just start with Inglot first because it's just an exciting brand, first of all. Um, I got this palette. It's the Freedom System palette. I'm sure you're all familiar with like how the Inglot palettes look like. It's just, um, they come in different sizes. This one is the square of five and I believe you can do like 10 or 20, 30, I'm not sure, but it just keeps getting bigger. Um, and I wanted to share with you the colors that I got because they're really interesting. Um, they're actually just hand-picked by my cousin for me, so I just didn't know what was going through her mind, but it's just really cool to see it, and I'm just so thankful that she's really thoughtful and thinking of me, even though I'm not her sister, so. Um, but I got these five shadows. I don't know which ones are what. But I have the numbers, so I'll list all the numbers below, but I got this kind of um, red, like a matte red color. I got this kind of teal. It looks very seafoam green, but it's really teal in the camera. Um, I got this navy blue-ish one, and then I got this really, really pretty matte gray. So all four of these um, are mattes, and then the last one right here is like a, it's like a shimmery, um, shimmery dark gray so I'll just do a little close-up of those and um, I'll just read off the names because I don't know which ones are what but I got number 339 um, 372 I got number 366 321 and 444 so they're all kind of like different different um, colors but they're pretty much all in the 300 so I don't know what that means um, and I also got another one which is 409 but it didn't I couldn't fit it in the palette so it's just gonna be an excuse for me to go out and buy myself another Inglot palette so I can fit this in here but this one is 409 and it's like a really pretty brownish shimmery brick. So I'm really excited to try these and they're all really packaged well so you can really pop them in um, the Inglot shadows. What's really great about them is you can really just pop them into um, whichever like s square shade that you want and um, I just did it kind of lightest to darkest and then I put the shimmery one on the end. So, and then you can also, the magnetic square that covers it, you can put it on the back um, if you don't want to set it down, but you're really supposed to kind of slide it um, off like a little, like that's kind of how you take it on and off, but I know my cousin's really particular about that, but that she just showed me how she took off hers. So, that's the palette, and then I also got this um, cream foundation, which I'm wearing right now from Inglot, and the Young Skin Makeup. I don't know why she threw it in my bag, but I kind of want to buy this liquid foundation now. It's in the um, shade 43. I don't know if you can see that, but um, this cream foundation is wearing really well. Like it looks super smooth. Like I feel like almost comparable to Makeup Forever. So I'm gonna have to check out how much that cream foundation is. Um, and then I got three, um, or yeah, four Milani lip pencils. 
the last, uh, the fourth one is actually in my purse. I already used it, but it's like a hot red. Um, and I think she just bought these stocked up for herself and gave the rest of us the other colors. And I've always wanted to try these kind of um, draw on lip pencils and glides. They have like a whole bunch of glittery shimmer specks in them. Um, and I got the colors flashy, in a flash, and photo flash. So, and then I think the red one, which you don't see in this video, is like a hot, whoopsies. The red one is like a hot red, and um, a hot red, and I wore that under a L'Oreal lipstick the other day for New Year's Eve, so I was really excited. Um, but yeah, it's number four, five, six, and seven, and it's just like a purple, a pink, and a red. So I love these little lip flash pencils. And then I also got this Sigma Precision Tapered Brush. It's the P86. And I wanted to buy the um, pack of five, or yeah, pack of three or four, little Precision Sigma brushes um, in the tapered, the round, the flat, and the angled. And she gave me the tapered one, and it looks so nice, and I'm so excited to use it. This is, seriously, Sigma, I feel like in my opinion, maybe even better than MAC brushes, just because the the ferrule and the, the stem of the brush is really good weight and the bristles are always just, you know, really nice and soft and all natural, so ego-friendly. So um, I'm really excited to try this and I probably will use it to apply like under eye concealer and maybe like some eye work up there. So that's that. And then um, I also picked up, this was not gifted to me, but I got this on the way back home. Um, so I just threw it in this, it's makeup related. It's the Rock Brilliance um, Eye and Lash Anti-Aging Primer, and I got this at TJ Maxx, it was 10 bucks. And the reason I picked this up is because I know Ori um, Oriel Olay Regenerate is, is coming out with a kind of, a same kind of, um, same kind of product, it's like um, eye and lash anti-aging primer. It re really what it does, it's kind of like a little treatment or spot treatment that you put all over your eye area, the overall bone, um, your eyelid, and then under your eye, just the entire eye space. And it, what it does is that it kind of conditions your lashes, makes them stronger, and it has anti-aging ingredients, so it all not only makes your skin around your eyes look younger, it just really does a good job of moisturizing and just gives you younger looking eyes. So I'm excited to try that because I know everyone just says really good things about rock. And then I only got a couple more stuff, uh, about like four or five things to show you. Um, I already wore this shade. It's a cargo um, blush in the color Big Easy. And when I first initially got this, I thought it was a... Um, I thought it was a bronze for some reason, but then when I wore it yeah, or the other day, it was like a it's like a nice like light peachy pink. So it's kind of like really flattering on everyone, um, and it's really really light, so it barely shows up my skin. Um, but I use it with a angle angle flat brush like this, and you can already tell I kind of already dirtied it. So that's kind of what the true color is for that one. But I've never had cargo products. I believe they stopped selling it at, at um, Ulta is where they used to have it. But um, I'm excited to try this blush. Um, and then I also got a um, Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay. It's just their 24-7 in oil slick. And it's just like a really sparkly um, gunmetal gray. Um, and I already wore it, like I said, near Year's Eve to kind of um, prime my eyelids and just make it a whole really, um, really nice and dark. So um, I can never really have too many um, different eyeliner pencils from Urban Decay, in my opinion. I love them and I think they're the best. So thank you, Michelle. I am in love with this pencil. Um, and then I got a couple lip products. Um, the first one is from Revlon. It's from Matt. it's a matte and it's number thirteen. It's called Smoked Peach, and I know that looks really um, kind of reddish or orange in the camera, but I promise you, it's like a peach, like a matte peach color. So I'm excited to try that. I don't want to swatch it because I don't want to get my um, hand dirty. Um, and I also got another Revlon cream. Um, Moon Drops lipstick in the color Lilac Champagne. This is a really bright fuchsia and I'm really excited because I feel like I just got a whole bunch of lipsticks over the holiday break, but um, this is a really pretty, um, I don't know why they call it lilac because it's definitely like a hot pink, 
but um, there's that shade and the col the Revlon tube is green so I don't know if that was like a limited thing or something old that Revlon used to do but that's that shade um, and then I also got a Tarte Lip Surgeons. It's just basically like a lip stain and this is in the color I guess the Dazzle that's what it says right there and I know my cousin got a pack of these um, like last year and then it was this is one of the chunky ones so I don't know if that was from that palette and she just kind of divided it up but this one I'm not sure but it looks more of like a mauve cherry if that makes any sense but let alone um, nevertheless another Tarte product oh and then you can kind of I didn't see this it's just a chunky pencil you can push up and down so that's a really cool feature on the bottom of the pencil so it's kind of like those Clinique um, Barely There lip, um, lip chunky thing sticks and this is just Tarte's version so I believe they started this whole craze so I'm excited about that one. And then um, I guess I forgot to show you this in my other, um, I, for, I guess I forgot to show this in my in the Inglot section, but here's another Inglot eyeshadow. It's number 379, and it's a really pretty, uh, a matte purple, like a lilac purple, so that's another two that I'm going to have to put in another palette. And um, my last thing that I got is a Butter Nail Polish, Butter London, and I was so excited when I saw this because I was like, Oh my gosh, Butter London is super crazy expensive. It's almost like Chanel prices, and it definitely looks like a Chanel bottle. Um, and this is in the color Rosy Lee. I remember I was looking at this in the Ulta line one time, and it was just really pretty, kind of reddish pink brick sparkles. And I just think this color is super gorgeous. First of all, it's a, like a gorgeous glittery shade. Um, and I, like I said, it's in the shade Rosy Lee. And the only butter nail polish I have, other than this one, just because I'm sitting right next to it, is this one in Tarte with a Heart. So those are now my only two butter or two butter London nail polishes that I have, and I'm I'm dying over this color. I don't think I have anything like it. So definitely gonna be pleased to try that one out. And that pretty much concludes my haul. Um, I kind of have to go and run um, to England over the moon. I'm going to be probably hauling some more makeup later on from Ulta because I got an Ulta card. So be on the lookout for that because it's going to be like makeup brushes and just nail polish. So I'm and I'll talk to you guys later on ChicKimileyPat.com. Bye!